If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace. God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. All right, good people, good guys, morning to you. I pray all is well with you this morning on this Wednesday morning, y'all. It's Wednesday morning. It's Refresh and Refuel Wednesday. Good guys, morning to you. Refresh and Refuel Wednesday. And guess what? We will have Bible study tonight, okay? We will have Bible study tonight, all right? So 6.30, I'll see you back here on our Facebook Live page for Bible study. Okay, ain't God good? Amen. Let's get some refreshing and refueling tonight. Amen. Good God's morning to everyone. I see you in the room. Good God's morning. Do me a favor, love and share. Love and share, love and share. Hey, 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 hey. It's the end of the month. It's the end of the month. <laughs> it's August the 31st, y'all. Another day the Lord has made, and we will, we shall, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Good God's morning to each and every one of you all. I see you this morning. Let us go to our scripture for this morning. This morning scripture, August the 31st, Wednesday, Refresh and Refuel Day is going to be coming from 1 Corinthians 16 and 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 14. The NIV version reads like this. Do everything in love. Good God Almighty. It says, let me read it again for you. Do everything in love. Very simple short, sweet, but power-packed verse for this moment. So, let's look at it, beloved. Do everything in love. Um, when we look at love, beloved, um, you know, love is one of those words that I believe a lot of people take loosely. Um, you know, a lot of people say they love you. Uh, you've heard it many times before but there's no way if you look back over it at it that that was love when we compare love to god we understand that god is love and god he loves us unconditionally there is absolutely nothing that we could ever do that would take us away from god nothing even when we sin even when we fall short find ourselves in the detrimentous place god is still there with arms wide open he is there the dictionary defines love as an intense feeling or deep affection this is where the confusion gets in it we categorize love as a intense feeling or deep affection <laughs> we, as one definition says, like or enjoy it very much. So we want to say, I love it. But real love, Mary J. Blige came out with that song. You remember that song? Real love. Mm -mm 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 okay, let me get back. Love, love is. Love loves you when you mess up. Love loves you even when you lie on them. Still keep try to kill them. You can kill their character, kill them, kill their person. Somebody said, well, how can they still love you when you don't keep they kill them physically? Well, you know, hey. Um, but love, beloved, if we look at the definition, or we look at it from... Um, God's definition. Hold on a minute. 
love defined in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. This is this this text that we're coming from this morning is right after that. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 and through 8, 8. And it says, Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, love does not boast, it is not arrogant or rude, it does not insist on its way, it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love rejoices in the truth. That's what I like right there. Love ain't, ain't envious of you. I want to see you do well. If I'm not doing well, okay, it's my fault. But you're doing well, so guess what? Go get it, boo. Do your thing, boo. Huh? Not arrogant. I don't think it's all about me. I'm not rude. Listen, I'm just kind and humble and sweet. Not irritable, not resentful. Because if we look at it, beloved, we are where we are because of ourselves. It doesn't have nothing to do with nobody else. So why are you going to be mad at somebody else? Why you can't display the love of Christ to others? Why? Because you mad? Because you ain't got off your butt and did what you're supposed to do? You mad because you left your boo and they with they boo and they happy? You mad? <laughs> Come on, somebody. Huh? You mad because they got a good job and they doing great when all you got to do is get off your butt, get your education, finish your degree, do whatever you got to do and, and get it done. Beloved, don't be mad. Get glad. Do what you're supposed to do. And see, the scripture says do everything in love. This is such a big lesson for today. And I don't have the time to really get into this, but do everything in love. The bottom line is, if you can't do it in love, don't do it at all. It's the way I feel. That's just the way I feel. Because if your pretense in doing something for me is not in love, guess what? There's something bad behind that that I ain't want to be a part of. We don't we we don't give like we used to do and don't expect nothing in return. We give expecting something in return. Or we give expecting, you know, some favors. Mm. Eep. Huh? We we don't we don't just love, you know, like we 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 like we ought to. You know, we're expecting something. We want something in return. We can't just just be just love. Just love. The best example that we have, the greatest example we have is Christ. So, beloved, sometimes, you know, we get outside of ourselves. And we do things and it takes us back, pushes us back. Because we didn't do it in love. Our pretense behind what we did was evil, was bad. It wasn't about love. There's a scripture that tells us, you know, that when you do things, you shouldn't expect anything in return. If you loan something, don't expect nothing in return. Because your reward is not on earth. Your reward may not be with them. But God, your Father, sees what you do. If you're going to do something, just do it. And if you got a bad attitude behind what you're doing, guess what? Don't do it. That's just me. If you love me, you love me. If you don't love me, well, ain't really nothing I can do about it. Because sometimes, beloved, we hate people. We don't even know why we hate people. And, and this is the thing that I don't get. Christ says that, we, that the greatest of these is that you love yourself, love the Lord God, and that you love your neighbor as yourself. And we haven't gotten that right. We barely love God. We give him lip service. I love you, Jesus. But yet we can't keep his commandments. We don't love our neighbor. And we say we love our neighbor. But when the rubber meets the road, we really looking for food. And how, listen, Bishop, how you say we don't love our neighbor? Well, we can't forgive our neighbor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We can't forgive. That's a part of loving. God love you and he forgive you over and over and over again. But yet you walk around here and you can't forgive your neighbor. You walk around here and don't even speak. Act like they don't see you. <laughs> you the ghost. <laughs> huh? 
we 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 got to get to a place where we love one another, where we forgive each other quickly, and move on and move forward. The body of Christ is suffering because of the lack of love. Sad. We don't love ourselves. We don't love each other. And we give God lip service. Actions speak louder than words. I always tell people, treat me how you want to be treated. If you wouldn't want to be lied to, don't lie to me. If you would want to be cheated on, don't cheat on me. If you would want to be be you know if you wouldn't want to be blank fill in the blank then don't do it to me love me like you love yourself and i understand that some people have an issue with that because they don't really know how to love themselves they don't really love themselves like i said this is a big lesson we don't have the time this morning but let's tap in beloved this morning as we pray as i pray pray that god gives you a heart of love that God deals away with the heart of stone and gives you a heart of pure love. Pray that God really shows you how to love. Pray that. Come on, let's pray. Father, we just want to tell you thank you this morning, first of all. For this is another day that you've made, and God, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I first I want to thank you for each and every person that's watching this morning God I don't know what's going on in their life I don't know what's going on in their hearts I don't know what's going on in their minds God I don't know what they've been through I don't know what they've had to endure up until this day but father I pray for their heart I pray oh God that you wipe away every hurt every pain every every ill feelings that they may have towards any anybody God, I pray that you give them a heart of love and wipe away, remove the heart of stone. God, so many of us have been through so much. And God, some of us are still holding on to that which we've been through. Father, I pray today that we let it go, that we forgive and allow you to heal us. Father, give us this heart. Give us, creating us a clean heart, creating us a, a, a right spirit within us. Father, teach us how to love. Teach us how to love one another. Teach us how to love ourselves. Teach us how to love you. God, we give you glory and honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, beloved. Good guys morning to you and another amen to you. Good guys morning to you. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day, okay? And let, let the Lord minister to you. Let him, let him just come into your heart and do what he needs to do, all right? All right, listen, I love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. You have a blessed and a beautiful day, okay? All right, see y'all tonight, 630, for another, for a refreshing, refueling. Good guys morning to you. <laughs> if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith. grow in God's grace. God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ so tune in to good guys morning good guys morning